After numerous bids for freedom, notorious former bikey boss Vincenzo Focarelli has finally been released from jail. The gangland figure spent his first day of freedom visiting his slain son's grave for the first time and mourning his father who died just hours before he was freed. No longer a prisoner but Vincenzo Focarelli's homecoming was marred by sorrow. How does it feel to be a free man? Allahu Akbar. Is it a bit bittersweet? His response in Arabic meaning God is greatest. It comes as he now plans a funeral. Just two hours before the gangland figure was released from Yatla yesterday afternoon, his father Giuseppe passed away in hospital. The flamboyant and loyal grandfather died from bleeding on the brain after battling an aggressive cancer. It's the second sad chapter Focarelli missed during his 14 months in jail. And today his first hours of freedom were spent in sombre prayer at a Woodville mosque. A short time later, he re-emerged to visit his son's grave for the first time. After finally finding where he was buried, Focarelli broke down and wept. 22-year-old Giovanni was gunned down in an ambush in January last year. Focarelli was also shot in what was the sixth time his enemies had tried to kill him and failed. The former Comanchero's boss was subsequently jailed for drug offences relating to that night and despite pleas for clemency to attend his son's funeral, authorities ruled it was too unsafe and still fear retribution attacks. Vincenzo Focarelli has now asked for privacy and plans to lay low in Adelaide's inner south. He's indicated there are things he wants to say but for now he's steering clear of the public eye. His new home was finally approved by the parole board after it refused up to six other locations. Virginia Langerberg, Nine News.